Hello YouTube and welcome to my review of the Rainbow Six Beta and my thoughts on the game going forward to release. The simplest way for me to round up my experience would be to say that when it was good, it was good, and when it was bad, it was bad, pretty much in equal measure. Let's start with what I like. The graphics look good and the sound is awesome. The way the audio changes, depending on where you are, when you hear it, makes locating breaches and gunfire much easier, and gives a great atmosphere. I like the gun and character models. The little touches like the sling mounts reacting to gravity and movement really help sell the experience. I think the barricading and destructible environments work really well for the most part, and especially once you've learnt the map. There's nothing quite like thinking you're in a great position only to be killed from above because you didn't know they could breach in above you. I also really like the repelling, even if it does play a somewhat limited part in the game. Peeking into a room upside down never really gets old for me. A lot of people have moaned about the shield being OP, but I don't think it's all that bad. Anything that forces you to work together is positive in my eyes. On to the bad. The worst thing for me was that the beta was using peer-to-peer -peer instead of dedicated servers. I'm not going to go into all the terrible things about peer-to-peer, -peer, but suffice to say, if it releases with peer-to-peer, -peer, I would advise steering clear, especially on PC. Along with this, I had nothing but problems with the matchmaker. The amount of times it simply couldn't find me anyone to play with was mad. Even when it had expanded its conditions for a match to their fullest, it didn't always work, and I had frequent errors. There is also a problem with the gunplay, where different guns have inconsistent zoom when ADS, causing mouse sensitivity to vary wild. To sum up then, once in the game, the learning curve was very steep, and there were a few things that drove me mad like gadgets that just kill everyone in the room with very little warning, and not knowing levels, and hiding somewhere really stupid. That's not to say that learning curves are bad by any means. CSGO's is huge, but it's all the better for it. Until I started unlocking operators, I felt at a bit of a disadvantage, but not enough to really put me off. I think a lot of the technical problems can be forgiven, as long as they're only in the beta, and don't make it to full release. But if it launches with peer-to-peer, -peer, I'm out, and I think you should be too. Overall, I am tempted as I really liked it, but I can never go back to peer-to-peer, -peer, and there are lots of other games vying for my attention. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found it informative. If you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. See you, YouTube.